What is that? Okay guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I've got all my gear here. Today's video is titled Football Jacob McDonald Football Training Day 10. And this is a continuation of the previous video and the previous video before that where I did my football training day 9. What I decided to do was actually look on camera with you guys, do a reaction to the top comments from that video. Whenever I come down here, I always, I never, I, like I, I know what I need to improve on, you guys tell me in every video, but I, when I come down here, it, it, I just completely forget it, for whatever reason. I'm, th I'm already thinking about what I'm meant to do on the field, but really, I should be slowing down, taking it easy, really concentrating on the, on the tips that you guys give me, which is what I'm gonna do today. So basically, I'm gonna do exactly what I did on day nine. I'm gonna set out the agility ladder with some cones at the end, but what I'm gonna focus on first with the ladder is, okay, holding the ball nice and tight to my chest. Before, when I was going through the ladder, my, my hands were all over the place. I wanna hold the ball nice and tight to my chest and keep it there. I also wanna try and get lower. When I was doing the ladder, I was, I was quite upright. I mean, that's just the style that I run normally. I feel like even when I'm running in a game of rugby, I'm quite upright. So in this particular drill today, I'm gonna to really focus on trying to get down. Have a low center of gravity, have my shoulders above my knees. The next thing that I need to focus on, the third thing, is looking up. Okay, because when I was doing it before, I'm focused so much on where my feet are gonna go, I don't even know where they're gonna go, that I'm not looking up, I'm looking down. And obviously, if you're training with your head down, it's not gonna do you any good for the game when the game situation comes along. So those three things I'm gonna focus on, having the ball nice and tight, staying low, and having my head up at all times possible. That's the first drill. The second drill that I did was some wide receiver drills, which was just along this line here. I set the camera up behind you and basically get in the stance, try and beat my man and go. Today, I'm gonna to focus on when I make the cut inside, I'm just gonna do some slant routes. In the previous video, I, I, try, I actually tried to cut in laterally. I tried to cut in on a 90 degree angle. It's far too much. What I really wanna do is reduce that angle from 90 degrees to like 45. So I'm really doing a, a proper slant route. In which case I should be able to just bang that right foot in or bang that left foot in without doing too much like hoppy stuff, change my direction without losing any pace and we'll see how we go with that. The one thing I did get from the comments about that was the fact that you know, you really just need to try and cut with that one foot, that really hard cut in the ground, which then propels you in a, in a different direction without losing any speed. I was trying to cut in on a 90 degree angle. To do that, to cut laterally, you know, you're gonna lose some speed. So if I try on a 45 degree angle, I feel like it should be a better, a better result. As well as that, when I'm starting, my quarterback's there, I've got my inside foot in front. I was leaning heavily on my front foot. What you guys told me to do is to really try and balance my weight between my front and my back foot. And I'm, I'm not actually sure why. I feel like possibly if I'm, if I'm too far forward, maybe my defender knows exactly what I'm gonna do. So if I'm, if I'm sort of balanced on both feet, I can really move left, right, back or forward and I can do anything. So those are the two drills I'm gonna do. The ladder drill, and the second one will be setting up as a wide receiver and just trying to focus on those things that you told me. So I'm thinking half an hour. I'm gonna to have to do some warm ups. That's, that's my other problem is that I try and get into this too fast. And I'll set a ladder out and I'll, in my second run through, I'm going at full speed. It's like, just slow down, Jacob, slow down. And when you really wanna turn it on for those sets and for those reps, do it. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is So uh, once again, as you guys may well know, Major Key Physiques, MKP, what you can see on here is, is my personal brand. It's my clothing brand that I'm trying to start. Uh, you guys are, you guys who've been there for the last six months or 12 months on my YouTube channel have seen the journey. You've seen the logo, I'm sure. And uh, you will be able to support me, support the channel, and buy some stuff for yourself 
in late January. So today's day is November the 28th and uh, we've pretty much got two more months. Two more months guys. So if you were considering buying some, if you, if you, if you want to know the dates, if you were sitting on the sidelines waiting for me to tell you what dates there were, end of January is when the stock will land. Exactly four weeks before that happens, I'll be opening up pre-orders for people who really want to support and trust to go on the website, everything will be stocked up, um, I just won't have it in my hands yet. So it's all going to be paid for, it's all on its way, you've got no, absolutely no worries about not getting it, it's just a matter of waiting four weeks. I mean I'll, I'll be real with you, what the pre-orders are doing is injecting a little bit of cash, a little bit of capital into the business. That income that's coming in I will then reuse to reinvest in the business. And that's, that's the business model that I always knew I'd have and I'm going to. I don't know if you saw last time the, uh, the blue and black socks, but I reckon this looks just as good. Blue and white. <laughs> I think someone commented on the last video, nah, those socks look shit. It's like, okay, well, what if they make you play better? What if they scientifically make you run faster? All right, guys, that's more than enough talking. Let's get into it. Ladder drills, nice and slow to start. I want to keep the ball high and tight to the chest. I want to keep my center of gravity as low as possible. I want to look up when I can. <sighs> That's it. Let's do it. Oh, by the way, I've got my football pants on too. So I've got pads. You know, it's the closest thing I can get. I did have a helmet. I don't have any pads. I've got a helmet, but it's a replica and it doesn't fit. So all we've got is the pants. High and tight, still pump the arms, low centre of gravity, looking up. Feels a lot better when you're facing forwards. You just got to get used to it. You got to know where your feet are meant to go. What I need a coach for is I don't know how strict this three points of contact you're, you're, you know, you're talking about. I know there's none of this, but is it like you've literally got to keep that on your chest the entire time, like every single, every single second? I mean, obviously it restricts your running, doesn't it?
but we're gonna try something. Let's mix pro kick and kicking with my wide receiver football training. I'm gonna do once through the ladder, followed by a field goal. Come back around, once through the ladder, followed by a field goal. I've got three balls. So that means three times through the ladder. Go and get the balls again, do it again, and keep going. This is all about fitness, as well as skills. Uh, it's about doing things under fatigue, which I believe is really important. Okay, call me what you will, but this is gonna be fun. Let's try this. <laughs> Guarantee you've never seen this before, or maybe you have. Okay, three seconds. First one would have been good to get, but oh well. Okay, thinking we go from the side, what do you guys reckon? That looks good. All right, that's number one. I want to do it four more times, see how I'm feeling. No rest. I walk down and get the balls, walk back, but as soon as I get back, it's straight into it. Third time through, we're changing it up again. Want a better angle of the posts. So let's see what we can do back here. Yeah, let's try that. That was terrible, terrible, I need to do that again. like that makes you want to quit. I don't know why, but I find that drill definitely the hardest. When you're going along the line like that, I just, I'm not used to it. I don't have the right hand movement, so I'm going to try it again. Go this way. Is it the back foot first? I don't know. No, it's not. Come.
this is the time. This is the time that all of all of that stuff that you guys told me has to come into play when I'm fatigued. See, I'm thinking about my feet too much. Halfway through the ladder, I'm like, oh shit, I've got to tuck the ball. So it's it's just getting that getting that mind muscle connection. But I know once I do get in the groove, man, my feet go fast. So it's just a matter of getting used to it. One more. We'll change up the camera angle. One last time. All right, so we've got this one, and then we'll have a drink, have a break, and get into some wide receiver stuff. High and tight, head over the ball, up, low. I think it is the back foot for that, that drill. Anyway, that was a shocking kicking display. Pro kick, please don't look at that. It's the first kick I've had since being there, so what can I say? I'm trying my best. All right, so I'm gonna keep the agility ladder on there. I'm gonna put it down the middle. I'm gonna start as a wide receiver on either the right side or the left side, focusing on keeping the weight on both feet rather than just the front foot. When I do cut, I'm gonna try and just do one heavy hard cut with my foot and go on a 45 degree angle. On the way back, if I'm feeling like it, I'll do a ladder. Okay, let's do it. So, if I'm going to go to the left, around his right, right foot forward, quarterback's that way, I'll be taking a little foot off the right, a little step off the right, do a one, two, three, and on the third, do the swipe. Or at least that's how I see it happening. change up the angle now so I don't know about that I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave that that part and just focus on being on the, my, the two balls of my feet having the right foot forward and really cutting inside on a 45 degree angle I don't know how those have looked I've sort of the first two I had a good amount of pace the third and fourth ones I kind of tripped as I tried to get around like the cornerback so yeah I don't know, there's lots of tripping in football though, isn't there? I mean, I'm gonna have pads and a helmet on, like, it's not gonna be this easy, so. If I'm tripping now, it's probably not a good thing. It's all good, let's continue.
I didn't bang my foot in at all then. It was a big swerve. It's fucking terrible. Alright, <clears throat> right about 40 minutes so far. So the last five minutes is gonna be hell, but it's gonna push me and I wanna finish this like not being able to breathe basically. <sighs> then focus on recovery for next day, for, for, for the next day. So with that said, I'm gonna do 10 20 yard sprints, that's about 20 yards. And uh, I'm not gonna time them, but on the way back I'm gonna do a ladder. I'm gonna do that 10 times. I'm gonna to have to have a break between them because I'm gonna be absolutely fucked. 10 ladders is bad enough, let alone after 10 sprints. So, no time to lose, let's get into it.